Okay, uh, that picture, um, of the Boston bombings, you know, thoughts and prayers go out to them. It, how it was, uh, made two days before the bombing? Well, that page got deleted. I said that in my last video that covered the Facebook page. Uh, now we have a new Facebook page. It's basically the same thing. They just, so really what they did is they created the Facebook page, right? before the bombing so clearly people are still thinking okay they had something to do with it or else why how could they make a facebook page and then uh people caught on that picture went viral that i showed you and i'm showing you here in this video and then they deleted that um and then they deleted that page and at the time i posted that video the page was deleted that's why i said that and now the page is back up and that just proves that no, they didn't change the date. They didn't change the title of the group. They just fucked up. <laughs> That's all. I mean, people are trying to say, um, uh, no, 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 no. They didn't, you know, they didn't do it. You know, or, you know, no. People are just trying to be assholes on Facebook. Uh, you know, changing the dates and everything. And people are saying the JavaScripts are messed up. Well, okay, but why, why would he, um, why would the person who owns this page remake the page after people catch on? And, you know, go to this guy's wall. It's filled with answering these questions about how, uh, how you had this page two days before. Like, this is awfully creepy. And it is awfully creepy. And now they have an Arabian man in custody of Saudi Arabia. And I just want to elaborate on this point before I end this video. Uh, in my last video about just Boston in general, I said that I think it's going to be used for North Korea. That's a very good possibility, too. But one, I think they're going to use it, because they already have an Arabian man in custody. So if they make him, and I said oh, I don't think they're going to blame him on Saudi Arabia. They're not. They blame him on Sunnis. That, that's the bottom line. And then Israel is going to destroy the Dome of the Rock, and then they're going to fight each other in, in Jerusalem. Sunnis versus Jews. And then, you know, uh, the seven-year peace agreement, that's going to play out. Even even Russia might invade Israel. It may actually happen, what the Bible says. And Russia would get into the war from Korea. Now, the Sunnis and the Jews are already going to fight each other because it, Netanyahu said the third Jewish temple will be built. Actually, it's not going to be Jewish, but um, and they're going to destroy the Dome of the Rock to do that. It's obvious where this is leading. The Pope's going to Israel in June. I mentioned Obama's letter to you guys uh, another video ago. This is all playing down. It's a, it's it's a great tribulation. And uh, you, this is all I'm gonna say, and then I'm gonna wrap it up. You guys, you need to make a covenant with the the Creator, the Merciful. You really do. Uh. But yeah, that's about it. Just keep your eye open for this Boston bombing. Uh, but also, I want to mention that gun control in the CISPA internet bill is going to Congress right now. Uh, so when the government's right hand is doing something, make sure make sure you pay attention to the left. Don't don't get um, don't get caught up in one thing because you know. And I mentioned this to people. I won't say who it is, but people were um. People were like, okay, before this bombing, people were still posting about Sandy Hook. Like, what are you doing? Why are you getting so hooked up on that? Like, it's it's one event. There's more we can be posting on. There's people dying in Africa of starvation. There's people dying in the Middle East for war with drones going over their head, bombing their places. And we're still, and we're here six months after the event. Not six months, but months after the event, talking about it. That's not going to do anything. And people are like, oh, yeah, well, it's being used for gun control. Yeah, we'll go make a debate for guns. Like I did. I And I was kind of talking to these people. That's why I put that gun control video out. You know? It's, it's, covering Sandy Hook from there is not going to do anything. Period. So, one, don't I don't want you guys to get caught up in this. Like, even if we know it's a plus black. And even if they use it for stuff bad. We can't get caught up in it. Just like... You can't keep referring to 9-11 10 years after it happened. It's not going to work. And one, you're just going to be called crazy. So you can't keep referring to one event. Just stop. That's all I can say. 
If you think this message is important and should be viewed by others, please share it. Share it to Facebook, share it to Twitter. Also, be sure to like and favorite the video. By doing so, it'll rise in listings and you'll have the opportunity to be viewed by others. Help us get the message out to the national and international stage. And also, please subscribe to this channel, The Truth is Full of Lies.